guys, cool. Today I'm going to perform a very easy experiment to demonstrate the image formation by different types of mirrors. Move on to the final case, also the most interesting part. Here's another kind of curved mirrors. We call it the concave mirrors because the curved surface is inward. Let's see what happens. See, at first I put the object very close to the surface. No, okay, good, good, good. What we see is that the image is much larger and it erased means that it has the same direction with the objects. Now I try to move it far away. Can you see? Amazing, right? I try it again. It's the same direction and larger than objects. And then now it's inverse. The image is inverted. So, what happened? Is this magic? No, it's a science. Because this is a special thing of uh, concave mirrors. Remember that when you put objects inside the focal length of the concave mirrors, we could obtain the uh, largest image that yeah, have the opposite direction with our objects. But when we put it outside the focal length, we will get an erect image. So that's the physics behind this. This kind of container is uh, more complicated because we have to divide into two, two cases. The first case, as I have told you in experiment, when we put objects outside the photo lamp, and see here, IB is outside the photo lamp or F. So what we get is a real, a real image would have larger size but inverted. It means that we have an opposite direction mm -hmm. compared with the, uh, our objects. Mm -hmm. But when I put the object inside the focal length, and you can see here, mm -hmm. we, we get a virtual image. Still larger, still larger than objects, but now we have the same direction. Mm -hmm. So remember that in concrete mirrors, we have two cases for image formation. Yeah. And concrete mirrors is often applied in makeup. Make is it familiar with the girl, right? Because if you, you want to get a larger image to easier makeup. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you.